Hey everybody, I want to walk through in this video the process for how you can export your entire microvillain configuration to create a sandbox configuration. And for us at Duckworks, this comes up very often. So if you're a new client of ours that's watching this video, we've directed you here to walk you through the simple steps for how to export what we need to be able to create a configuration. And first, I want to mention that MicroRealm does have a process for this. And the default process, and this is for configurations that are server configurations. Everything we're talking about in this video is assuming that you are on a SQL server. And so if you go into MicroVellum and go to where I just went, Toolbox Setup Options, and on the Data Access tab, you will see your SQL Server. And so this is what we're talking about here, is configurations like this. And the default way that MicroVellum has built in is to do a transfer tables. And so with transfer tables, you can pick a local folder where it's going to copy your entire factory database into there. Now, the problem we run into with that is Windows has a limitation on of four gigabytes for those file sizes. And so many customers, their database is larger than four gigabytes. And what happens is it just stops when it hits that limit and you don't get everything you're trying to export. So the process I'm going to walk you through today is how we're able to get everything that we need without that process to be able to reconstruct your configuration in a SQL CE environment and give us a copy of your entire database and everything that we need for that. The first step is you want to locate your microvellum data folder. And so you can very easily do that by going to help and browse to factory data. And that is going to bring up where the, your server configuration is mapped to. And what this is your files. So your factory database, which is where all your project drawings are, your graphics folder, which gives us all of your blocks, your 2D CAD template, your drawing templates. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a location to every, all the files we're going to export, we're going to save here and allows us to just, just easily zip this whole folder up in one shot to send as a copy. So the, that's what we want to start with here is we want to first start by copying this folder. So I'm going to go up one level and I'm going to copy this to my desktop. And so that is the first step is mapping to your microvellum data, copying that whole, whole microvellum data folder. Yours might be named something slightly different, but it is the folder when you go to that path I showed you, help browse to factory data, and then go up one level, you want that entire folder. And we're gonna copy it, and then in this new folder that we're making, we're gonna create subfolder for everything we're gonna export. Now that I have a copy, I'm gonna first rename this just to make it easy for everybody. So you might wanna name this something specific to you, your company name, something like that. I'm gonna call this Duckworks um, Local Config. You could call it sandbox, something like that. So now I have a folder where I'm going to export everything. The next thing I'm going to do, step two, is I'm going to create a subfolder here for database exports. And that's where we're going to go with everything else that we're going to export here in the following steps. Step three, we're going to go to back to Microvellum and we're going to go to toolbox setup options. And in here under the utilities tab, we want to go to database management. And so this is where we're going to export uh, the majority of what we need. So in here we can pick our library. So I want to export my whole library and that's going to get the library itself and all the materials that go with it. I'm going to pick my products and that'll give me all of my products in the library. Then I'm going to go and pick all sub-assemblies. Materials have already been selected. I'm going to do all my reports. I'm going to do my tool files. 
processing stations, and these are going to look different for you. Graphics, we don't need to do because those are going to be in the folder. And if you have report groups or things here, you might want to do those just to get them. But notice that we're excluding work orders or projects. Now, if you're exporting and sending us a copy of your configuration and there are some example projects you want to include, you could manually check those. But we want to exclude those because most people's project lists are very long. Those are easy to export separately and import once we get a copy. We're just trying to create a master copy of the database that doesn't have projects or work order, just template level stuff. And so the next thing we want to do is we want to choose where we're going to save this, um, which I am going to go to my desktop, to the folder that we just created and to the subfolder in that we created for database exports. So what this is going to do is it's going to export here an SDF file, which is a database file with everything in it that we just selected. All right, and I am going to hit transfer. Okay, should pop up export completed. And that finished up everything that we needed to export, which we should be able to go and see here in database exports. Now we have this microfilm export and it creates a graphics folder for any hardware that it transferred as well, which that'll be duplicated, but that's okay. So then the next thing we want to do is we want to go into database explorer. And what I like to do is just to make sure that we have a backup of all of your template spec groups as well. And so from database explorer, database management, you can't explicitly choose template spec groups. And so I like to go through here and grab them specifically. So first I can go to, I'm going to map over on the right side to my folder on my desktop. Which for you should be on your desktop, which might be a little bit of a different path. And inside that database exports, the same folder where we're putting everything. And then on the left, I'm going to go to my spec groups and I am just going to grab everything over here. So these are all the spec group components for each of whatever your template spec group. So yours are going to look different. This in the configuration I'm in, these are what my template spec groups are. And this just makes sure that I have everything I want here. Where database exports, that's what I want. Mm, do this for all. A lot of these you'll notice are the same files duplicated over again. So, but it's making a copy of everything. So I should have here all of the spec group components from my template spec groups. And again, we're just trying to create everything we might possibly need in one place so that when we get these files, we can easily reconstruct your database and your configuration from scratch. Okay. So the next thing I like to do is the biggest thing that doesn't come if we don't do the table transfers and we're doing things this way is your F workbook. So if we go to library specification groups and then here we want to open workbook designer, your F workbook is your factory level workbook that is universal above your entire database and is referenced in projects. And if you're in newer libraries, like the foundation library, there are a lot of lookup tables. This is an older component based library, but there still are certain things here. And in some configurations, you may have things you don't even realize are here that have been customized. So we like to make sure we get a copy of this. And so when you open this, you can do file save as, and we're going to save this in that same database exports. And we're going to call this factory dot xls and that is going to give us it in an excel format and when we get this we're able to replace the factory workbook through sql ce viewer which i'll walk through in a separate video on how to take all this and put it back together into a full configuration so now this should give us everything that we need in this folder so we have here, the factory.xls, we have all of the spec group components, and we have your microfilm export database. And then up here, we have your drawing templates. 
we have all your graphics files and we have your folder structure, everything that we need to recreate. And you might have other stuff here. If you guys are cut right users, you'll have a cut right mapping file. So everything that we need now is in this one folder that we can now zip and compress to a zip folder. And then this folder is what you'll send to us through WeTransfer link to give us everything we need to create your configuration. So if you follow these steps that I've got mapped out here, and this is everything that we should need to create your configuration to be able to do shop drawings for you in your library.